following program is rebroadcast by the Armed Forces Radio Service to our fighting men overseas. Goodyear presents the Roy Rogers Show. The greatest name in rubber, Goodyear, invites you to meet America's greatest Western star, Roy Rogers. There's nothing like the morning feeling places to do When you're going where the state is to behold The cows are in the meadow and they give me the mood As I go singing down the road My little dog is tagging right along at my heels He's so happy that he's hopping like a toad His little tail is wagging cause he knows how I feel As I go singing down the road The sun is grand, my face is tan And I'm so carefree and gay And as I hide, I feel just like a school kid for a day And when my day is over, there's a girl and to me You see, but that's another episode My heart and I are stacking up our dreams kind of neat As I go singing down the road But that's another episode My heart and I are stacking up our dreams kind of need As I go singing, singing down the road <laughs> Well, howdy, folks, and thanks for dropping in on our good year party here at the ranch. We're all going to do our best to show you a real fine time. Guess you already know some of the folks here. Little Pat Friday from next door, Bob Nolan and the Sons of the Pioneers, and Perry Batkin <laughs> and the Ranch Orchestra. So tonight we have another special guest that you'll meet a little later on. I kind of want to keep... Excuse me, Roy, but there's something... Uh, hello, Patricia. Having a good time? Oh, wonderful time, Roy, but I'm very curious about... Daddy! I want to be a cowboy so I can wear those funny pants like Roy Rogers. There, did you hear that? Yeah, but it seems like I did. Hey, Rog, what's going on around this ranch? What do you mean, Bob? Well, I keep hearing voices and the people they belong to ain't here. Oh, George, uh, George, uh, have you seen Roy Rogers' horse trigger? He has the cutest little nose. On the end, it feels just like swan soap. Now, see, who said that? I don't believe it. Well, his nose does sort of feel like soap. Roy Rogers, you're up to something. Now, what kind of a trick is this? Well, I don't know what you mean by a trick, Patricia. I've got nothing up my sleeves and nothing in my pockets. Hey, what I want to know is who said that stuff that was said a second ago by somebody that said that stuff? Who done it? Which way did they go? Well, they went that... <laughs> Well, I guess it is sort of puzzling, isn't it, Perry? <laughs> Maybe we'll solve the mystery a little later on, though. In the meantime, let you and Pat and I step back in the crowd while Deuce Priggin starts the pioneers off with his bass fiddle on a tune called Cimarron, Roll On.
thank you, pioneers. That was really swell. Folks, these days you need the help of a special kind of manpower to help out with your horsepower. <laughs> you know, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, Vern Smith here will explain. Well, it's just this. To keep the horsepower in your car working, to keep your car rolling, you should get the assistance of that tire specialist in your community, the Goodyear dealer. You know, it's been true every year for the last 30 years that more people ride on Goodyear tires than on any other kind. And it's also true more people depend on Goodyear tire dealers for tire service than on any other dealers. And right now, when new tires are so hard to get, when your present tires must last a long time, cash in on Goodyear dealer experience. Make the Goodyear dealer station your tire service headquarters. Yes, rely on him for all tire service. He'll see that your tires are properly inflated. He'll check them for danger signs that mean time to recap. And when it comes time for recapping, be sure you have it done the Goodyear way with Goodyear materials by a Goodyear-trained recap specialist. Yes, for expert tire service, rely on the man who's backed up by the greatest name in rubber, Goodyear. About this time, Patricia, I think the folks here at the party would like to have a song from you. How about it? Well, I think it could be arranged, Roy. I wish my daddy was here to listen to Miss Friday sing. He told me he had an ear for music, but he was fibbing. I blew in both his ears last night, and they didn't play a note. <laughs> Where did that come from? Oh, don't let it worry you, Pat. Let's have your song, huh? Folks, Miss Pat Friday singing Sleigh Ride in July. Think that I was safe. 
was a lovely song. You must come over to the house and meet George. That's my husband. <laughs> um, second thought, you're all for cute, Miss Friday. Let's just you and I have lunch together. Roy, I think we'd better have an explanation. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, Pat. Folks, these mighty familiar voices you've been hearing have been coming from the young lady who's our special guest here at the ranch tonight. She's a very popular radio actress down around Hollywood and one of the cleverest imitators of famous people you ever heard. I'd like you all to meet her. Folks, Miss Sarah Berner. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sarah, uh, we'd sort of like to know how you learn to imitate people's voices the way you do. Well, I guess I just picked it up little by little. <laughs> when I was a child, I can remember I collected quite a few spankings for imitating people who came to our house to visit. It probably started with just plain meanness. <laughs> you know, our, I'm pretty sure that our guest here at the ranch tonight would love to hear you do some more of your imitations. How about it, huh? All right, Roy. Suppose we put baby Snooks, Gracie Allen, and Judy Canova in the living room together. We might hear a conversation like this. Gracie, I have a daddy. Do you have a daddy? Oh, why, of course, Snooks. Uh, George is my daddy. Oh, don't go getting the kid all mixed up, Gracie. George is your husband. Oh, Miss Canova, George is my sugar daddy as well as my husband. Don't you understand? Does he get paid for overtime? <laughs> I think that's real romantic. My auntie and my uncle got married. It was so sweet. And Daddy said with auntie and uncle it was a real garden romance. He was a deadbeat and she was an old tomato. <laughs> Well, I know a thing or two about romance. Before a girl gets married, she thinks the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. After she's married, she goes through his pockets. And then there's always the youngsters. Up in the hills one day, a feller came across a little kid playing in the mud, and he says, Little feller, how come you're so blame dirty? And the little kid says, I'm waiting for the big party next week. Once a year, the squire takes all the kids on the train down to the city to go swimming in the river. The feller says, that still don't explain how you got so dirty. And the little kid replied, last year I missed the train. <laughs> oh, gee, that was swell, Miss Burner, and thanks a lot. See them tumbling down. The tumbling tumbleweeds set the scene for another page in the great story of the West. The guests at the old ranch house gather around as Roy Rogers tells of a corner of this great western land. Drop into one of the easy chairs yourself and listen as our host brings you the color of the West. Some of the brightest pages in the story of the West come from up in the northern states. The cow hands and the cattle of the West have roamed over a lot of territory, but some of the finest of all the riders have come from up in the hills of old Wyoming. Up there in the purple shadows of the Rockies are men and women who have had a lot to do with the growth of our land out here. They wear their hats a little different than the folks down Texas way. They say rodeo up there, while a lot of the folks down along the border say rodeo. But those Wyoming riders sit just as straight in the saddle as the cowhands who follow the trails of the desert. Someday soon, maybe we can all travel around this old west again. Then we can drop in on our friends up there in Wyoming and tell them we think they've got a mighty fine state. In the meantime, though, we'll just have to say it with a song. So here are Bob Nolan and the Sons of the Pioneers to sing in the hills of old Wyoming. Let me ride
I can't. <laughs> My, I'll have to get George to introduce me to some of these cowboys. Say, Gracie, I mean, Snooks, <laughs> I mean, guys with Sarah Burner doing all her imitations here tonight, I don't know who I'm talking to. Rally it doesn't matter, Roy. Rally it doesn't. <laughs> now she's got me thinking I'm talking to Catherine Hepburn. Rally, you could be talking to Catherine Hepburn, couldn't you, Roy? Well, <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> and if you were talking to Catherine, she would say... Oh, Mr. Rogers, I'd love to hear you sing a song. Rally, I would. <laughs> well, Sarah, I don't know whether she would or not. I don't, uh, I don't know what Miss Hepburn thinks of my singing. Well, let's not worry about her then, Roy. I'd like to hear you sing a song for us, and I'm sure everyone else at the party would like it, too. Well, now you sound like Sarah Burner again. <laughs> and if you'd like a song, Sarah, I'd be glad to sing it for you. Well. <laughs> Here's the king of the cowboys singing the great hit he introduced to the country in Hollywood Canteen. It's Don't Fence Me In. While Cap Willie, looking mighty pale, was standing by the sheriff's side. And when that sheriff said, I'm sending you to jail, while Cap raised his head and cried, Oh, give me land, lots of land under starry skies above. Don't fence me in Let me ride through the wide open country that I love Don't fence me in Let me be by myself in the evening breeze And listen to the murmur of the cottonwood trees Send me off forever, but I ask you please Don't fence me in just turn me loose, let me straddle my old saddle underneath the western sky. On my cayuse, let me wander over yonder till I see the mountains rise. I want to ride to the ridge where the west commences and gaze at the moon till I lose my senses. I can't look at hobbles and I can't stand fences. Don't fence me in. Just turn me loose. Let me straddle my old saddle underneath the western sky. On my cayuse, let me wander over yonder till I see the mountains rise. I want to ride to the ridge where the west commences and gaze at the moon till I lose my senses. I can't look at hobbles and I can't stand fences. Don't fence me in. All that I can say is, come on, Trigger, let's be on our way. For real motoring safety, two are fine, three are better, and four are best of all. Yes, you're playing it just as safe as you can when your car has all four of the great safety factors of American motoring. Safety glass, the all-steel top, four-wheel brakes, and Goodyear lifeguards. Lifeguards are mighty important because with lifeguards on your car, you insure yourself and your family from the disaster, the often fatal disaster, that can be so quickly caused by blowouts or other sudden tire failure. The lifeguard, you see, replaces the conventional inner tube. It's an inner tire, a two-ply safety tire within a tube. And even if your tire and tube blow out, that inner lifeguard remains inflated, supporting your car so that you can keep it under control and bring it to a safe, sure stop. Because of wartime emergencies, Goodyear is not at the moment producing lifeguards. But Goodyear has hopes of getting into production sometime soon so that those of you who haven't the additional protection of lifeguards can get them. Until then, keep in mind that there's one device that makes any blowout harmless. The lifeguard, Goodyear's safety successor to the inner tube. Folks, we've got something that you don't hear very often around here right now. You know that the Farr brothers play the hottest fiddle and guitar around these western parts, but probably you never heard them do any of their real old-fashioned dance music. 
Well, right now, they're going to give us an old tune called Honeysuckle Shottish. And I know you're going to like it because they really do a swell job. So, Hugh and Carl, take over, will you? Well, Perry, oh, Roy, you know they're having another dance in town this week, and I was wondering if you... Perry, have... you asked me that last week, and the answer is still no. You can't borrow Trigger to go to the dance. Oh, but Roy, Trigger's such a beautiful horse, and I'd sure like to take him. I can't help it, Perry. Trigger told me he didn't want to go with you. <laughs> well, did he say why? He sure did. He says when you dance, you step on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roy, let me ride Trigger just this once. Well, all right, but you've got to use your own saddle. Well, what for? Because when you sit in my saddle, your hip pockets would be where the stirrups ought to be. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Perry, why don't you start polishing up your dancing boots while the Sons of the Pioneers and I sing another song for the folks. Here's Roy Rogers with Bob Nolan and the Sons of the Pioneers singing Trail Herdin' Cowboy. Healy, healy, oh, healy, Cowboy, hop on your pony, sing and hold. Start riding now, boy. We'll make San Antonio sing and hold. Long merry days and a dusty road to travel. But we'll make the boss pay for all this battle driving cattle. Light-hearted, carefree, trail herding cowboy, sing and hold. Keep moving, doggies. Time is a waste and singing ho. I'm not impatient, but why don't you hasten singing ho? You ought to know that a certain someone's waiting. You ought to know that you're captivating, confiscating. Arms will unfold his trail herding cowboy singing ho. One little doggie straight from his mother singing ho. Trail herding cowboy, there goes another singing ho. Billy, Billy, oh, follow the doggies through endless days of sunshine. When this drive is over, we'll take our fun time all at one time. Make me a happy trail herding cowboy singing ho. Billy, Billy, oh, run. That sort of shuts the door on another Goodyear party out here at the old ranch. Next week at the same time, we hope you'll all be coming up the driveway for another party. 
because we'll sure be waiting with a big welcome. All of the gang will be here, Bob Nolan and the Sons of the Pioneers, Miss Pat Friday, Perry Bodkin and the Ranch Orchestra. So till then, this is Roy Rogers saying for the whole gang, goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. Don't forget, smiles are made out of the sunshine and a frown from a rainy day. You'll be more than repaid if you remember that a smile goes a long, long way. When trouble troubles you, just turn on the sun and watch how fast your cares and worries start to run. Don't forget, smiles are made out of the sunshine and the smile Roy Rogers and Bob Nolan and the Sons of the Pioneers appeared through the courtesy of Republic Pictures. This is Vern Smith saying good night for Goodyear, the greatest name in rubber, and reminding you that more people ride on Goodyear tires than on any other kind. Be with us next Tuesday, same time, same station, when Goodyear will bring you another get-together at the ranch with Roy Rogers, the king of the cowboys. This is mutual.